Hello, well I'm Kaku. If you read the title, it would say why I think Subaru is one of the best Isekai protagonists. So basically I'm gonna be explaining my reasoning behind that behind that and why I said it. So basically why I think Subaru is one of the best Isekai protagonists is his pure emotion and pure personality. The first episode is basically when he is transported into a new world. When it gets transported, people say that his emotions were fake and they were not like real like, but I think they were really, they were really like inspired and they're really great because it just shows how much Subaru doesn't care. Like he thinks he's the protagonist. He wants to be, he wants to be better than everybody else. He thinks he was sent to the world for a reason and the reason is that he wants to be the best and stuff like that. But he was, he was wrongly mistaken. When he first is returned by death, he gets stabbed in the back by, I'm guessing, Elsa. Well, he dies and he's like, well, I'm guessing he's just like, he's just like confused. But he's just, he's just a great character, especially his power. His power returned by death sets up a risk factor. The risk factor is that he can die and return at any point, any moment in time. So basically, he, he can die and come back is what I'm trying to say but it sets up a risk factor and a non risk factor he can he the risk factor is that he can die at any moment but the non risk factor is that he can come back at any moment this really fucks up his psyche psychic like mental mental capacity and also mental just men, he just mentally fucked in general he just Subaru is just a, a, a good character in my in my eyes because he like he doesn't care he does care but he at the end at the end he still wants to prevail and make Amelia smile that's why I don't really support the rem the rem um the rem ex Subaru thing because I think that since Subaru tries so hard to get with Amelia he should be with Amelia because he always just tries his best he doesn't give up all he wants to see is Amelia smile I don't think he did anything wrong per se he just has a he just has a fucked up power which makes him die and come back so he's always suffering but he doesn't I don't think he usually uses it in the right way I just think he needs because there's no there's not really any guns in the world that we have seen yet so he can't just quick easy kill himself which sounds really dark but yeah he can't really just do that he has to suffer through it and stuff like that but i just think he's a good character he doesn't care at all he just he just wants to see amelia smile sir he might get fucked up at some times he might get he might get fucked up at some times in his in the psyche is just it's just wow like he sees all his friends die he sees a witch's cult kill all his friends stuff like that it's just it just mind boggles him he doesn't even care he cares but he wants to make everything right. He's not going to give up until he gets every single thing right. Which is going to take a long time. I know it's a bit repetitive to see the same things happen over and over again. But I think he just shows it in a different way. Because every time he dies, he's like, well, I just got to do this again. But I got to do it a different way so I don't die and mess it up. And with, especially with season 2 approaching us. I think that season 2 is going to be one of the best. I heard arc, arc 3 is really good. Or arc 4 is really good. I can't wait to see that. I haven't read any of the light novels, so I don't want anyone to spoil in the comments below, because I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't. I watched the trailer as well. I don't know if that's Tella that's sitting down or killed all his friends, but I heard it's not. Sorry for the spoiler. I know I just contradicted myself, but uh, yeah. Um, I hope we get to see more of Subaru's character as well as his backstory, because I want to know what he was kind of like before this. I know was. I know he was a shut-in, and he had yeah, like he was a otaku. Stuff like that. That's also what I like about his character. He's an otaku. Yes, sir. But yeah, I hope we see more of his character in the show. Honestly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Subscribe to me if you want to. Uh, and it's been Kaku. I'm out.